All right. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I just let the music play and it's uh, really I don't know what to do <laughs> and uh, whatever oh for now you can hear me <laughs> So you're talking and I know even now it's gonna it's gonna get interrupted I'm sure really nothing that I can do about it it's most sad I have to read one of my least favorite things to <laughs> read the instructions but it is what it is Definitely have to talk to a more <clears throat> technological person to figure this out for me. What are you guys doing today? It's Friday. Yeah, it really sucks. So disempowered. And so helpless in these things. Not my. Maybe I should have just gone with that digital Eddie. I'll do. I realized that I didn't have anything uh, fixed. So, Clara, I I can't figure out this silly with uh, with the OBS streaming software. Because I'm putting the filters on because without the filters, there's a lot of noise. Then when I put the filters on, the voice keeps cutting. and the noise suppression. And then I added a gain so that my noise does, my voice doesn't get all uh, buried, like completely muted. And I don't know what that does. And then I had some stream health problems apparently with my last stream too. Only when I was done, I went and I realized that I kept. these uh, warnings from from YouTube that my stream is not at the current bitrate or something and I just I just got it that's why I restarted it maybe that was the problem I don't know I think there was a update in OBS and that and then Sam changed things around in OBS too Filters are the issue. A lot of noise, like all this shh, you know, like uh, background noise, extra noise. guys working today, Jamie? Uh, 
there a way to record your audio without using the filters? I don't... I know you said it's loud. <laughs> like and subscribe or be destroyed, peasants. Can you turn the sensitivity of the mic down? Right now? I think I... Oh, actually, I don't have the mic on because the mic keeps giving me trouble, like... Uh, it's screeching when I talk. Like these... Uh, whistling noise. Camera's microphone right now. I don't know if it's even... Just making sure that it's focused. to the studio to paint cool sound is fine <laughs> for now <laughs> yeah definitely gonna have to go through it because this is not premium oh i appreciate it clara <laughs> i do need help that's for true. That's for sure. I do need help. In all sorts of ways. enjoying your, your your presence in the stream very very much but I also don't want it to be like a noxious experience I want it to be pleasant for everyone including me <laughs> Just in case you're wondering what's happening with the curtains, my new puppy is trying to eat my green screen. I'm gonna mess with the settings. You could simply adjust where the mic is to your mouth, but it's fine for me. Getting my hair cut and colored today. Ooh, nice. Okay, Louis, drive safe. Don't comment. Dude, stop it. Hey! with the settings either but uh, what do you do when not working these are tasty yeah who was he's making his bed to, to lay down just uh, borrowing had my hair colored in a while. What color? Make a nice brown here. Red and the yellow. I haven't colored my hair in years. I have all virgin. <laughs> yeah, my hair is virgin too. Like a virgin.
kind of a dirty blonde. <laughs> uh, plan to color. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I get it. I understand. A little bit of color gives it more volume to like more. something lighter but to go for something like I use bleaching it and bleaching is such a oof it's difficult then the dark roots come in and it's a lot of maintenance oh wow ah uh. Interesting, Jamie. Very, very, the human body is an amazing thing, huh? Amazing. And vicious. Amazing and vicious. Hair looked great to me the other night. I didn't get you. I didn't see you. It's getting much better. I didn't know about it at the time. Wow. Well, you guys can always go, you know, shave it. Shaved. <laughs> you can shave your hair. Every woman at least once in their life should to consider shaving their hair. It's such an empowering thing to do. You know? I think most women look good with shaved hair. And it's really good for the hair too. It grows back much healthier. Hormone therapy. <laughs> I don't have the face for a shaved head. <laughs> don't know it. You might.
Have I completely shaved your head? Yes, completely. Like, not, you know, when, when other girls say, oh, I shaved my head. They're like, they just give it like three millimeters or like five millimeters of hair. It's like, that be hair there. I actually shaved it. Like, no, no, uh, you know, uh, retainer. And Oh, it's pretty crazy my days. I, sh I shaved it with a razor many times actually. I have a tattoo on the back of my head. <laughs> like sh shiny. <laughs> I really love it. You love your hair. I have a love-hate relationship with hair. <laughs> I would look like a naked mole rat because my skin is so pink. <laughs> wow. I, I try to have long hair, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't suit me. I like to change it a lot, and when you have long hair, you can't really do... You have shorter hair, you can do go so many ways, you can do so many things with it. For many, uh, but I do like long hair, I wish that I... Uh, over the face of looking in the mirror so many times and saying, ugh, my hair. And then it's just a matter of time until it's gone. <laughs> if enough days of bad, I will completely shave it off. Just a matter of time before it happens again. I know it. Sometimes, you know, you see uh, on TV uh, some celebrities or some actors running with that with a buzz cut or with completely shaved bald head and when i see those beautiful women i'm like oh i'm getting the itch again <laughs> and once i'm getting the thinking about it but i do like it it's such a freeing feeling not to mention that you don't spend as much time of your day having to deal like there's never a bad hair day when you have a always looking great <laughs> when i was in grade school there was a girl that had hair almost to her feet i don't think her parents ever cut her hair i do like drastic looks either soup about the in between i know right that's how i feel let me just check on the stream real quick to see if if it's got the right bit rate Thank goodness, no more. Maybe that's what it was. It was the the bit rate wasn't the right. I don't know. Anyway. Alright. That's me. I'm gonna block in the mushrooms real quick. the background of the mushrooms. White, some red, some yellow. Top is quite orangey. I'm using the plastic palette because I was cleaning the other one and it just took too long. I'm like my hair was amazing when it was short I don't think I'll ever but short it was so nice yeah I think I think girls with short hair look so cute this one
I should have blocked this in before. Okay. I used to have my super sh and my husband. He prefers a little leg. Who cares what he prefers? <laughs> you have to love it because you're the one taking care of it. Actually, I had my hair shaved. It was completely shaved. I uh, lived in New York and apparently, well, he thought I was gay. <laughs> but that didn't detract him. And I wasn't even a uh, I am a little butch. <laughs> Can't say what yet. <laughs> my hair used to be down to my feet, but I cut it so people couldn't be jealous. Wouldn't be jealous. Of course, of course. We know, we know. Try to make everybody so comfortable and uh, at ease, Louis. The strengths. <laughs> Putting people at ease. And not boasting at all. Being so modest. And subdued. He has a definite preference for it long. Uh, I'll show you when I have time, Jamie. I mean, if the person who sees you more than you see yourself, their opinion should matter. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. I do agree. But I do like that kind of person who says, Honey, I love you no matter how you want to have your hair. Because... ...side of you and not the outside of you. You're always beautiful in my eyes, no matter how you look on, on the outside, no? Not a very popular opinion. <laughs> Besides, I think we're here on this planet to, to challenge people to be less superficial. And that, that starts in the house. You, know, you have to train to be open-minded, what I think. Most of all, husbands and family should be open-minded. In Salo Blue is so strong. Samson had long hair, right? And when he cut it, he lost his strength. <laughs> yeah, because he thought that his strength was in his hair. Delilah cut his hair. Women can bring out the man's weakness. Right. Only only that way it goes, huh? It got, doesn't go the other way at all? Man, we grew up in such a patriarchal society where women are the bad guy. Isn't that bad? He says he loves me regardless, but he prefers to have at least enough to grab a handful. <laughs> oh, we get it. My biceps grew by six pack, turned to a ten pack. Next mu neck muscles grew to mimic a bull animal. <laughs> Sometimes not even that secretly, you know.
<laughs> hey, Artristy. Uh, Arch. <laughs> Why? The I He's open minded. And yes, same. It's just a preference. Oh, hi, Eddie. We we're talking about women and men as usual. Although we're not on uh, Lewis's channel. We're talking about hair and uh, women with short hair and women with long hair and how some women their husbands prefer to uh, like that. <laughs> Without getting into too much detail. They need to hold on to something so they don't faint. By the way, men should not... Not saying what anything should or should not do. Not on this channel. You almost got me there. <laughs> And full comment. Ah. <laughs> Don't fall into the trap, Jamie. Expect the unexpected when you join in. Quelder, well, they're talking about hair and sex. <laughs> yes, you guys can talk about that stuff. I'm not. I don't know anything about that stuff. significant others preference for hair length something worth considering ready for your deep thoughts Quelder. <laughs> hard pet brains who has tiny brains <laughs> Quelder, you're a wise man i'm not even joining the conversation i don't agree with the patriarchal idea that a man should have a say in the w way his woman keeps her hair that's all but you know else opinion i suppose <laughs> Y'all are slowing me down. This painting must die. <laughs> Too much history. <laughs> Thank you, Wyden. <laughs> Haven't finished it. <laughs> Again with the man brains, dude. Your, your man brain and stuff. Not just how much bigger it is, it's how you use it, too. Although, I must say, uh, although I said all of those things, so let me just fill you in the history of my hair. We were talking about hair, but uh, so for the longest time I kept shaving it, like shaving the whole thing or having short hair and then Sam at one point is like you know why don't you just do like a uh, half cut just middle and just cutting the sides We're like ugh that's so uh what's it called <laughs> uh, it's just too cliche you know and it's like just try it so I tried it and 
I really liked it actually and I never well I did go back to to having it all short only after I had dyed it a lot I uh, bleached it and it became really brittle but I really loved the way it was back then but uh, yeah and even the back too so I still do what, what Santa likes but because I love it as well I'm like that was a really good idea <laughs> what was inappropriate hang on men have to I wouldn't hang on you guys are so fast <laughs> yeah two brains <laughs> bottom heavy okay <laughs> you like it offhand Clara I know you Mama. getting juicy you know what's funny is that uh sometimes we don't finish the, the paintings at the studio and i say you know why don't you since you have to go home early you can always go and watch the live stream and then and then when i send them the link i'm like oh my god is this what they're gonna see <laughs> but i still send it i'm like going to filter it out <laughs> bye <laughs> sucker for drama <sighs> oh that's all right this is a grown-up channel i have decided a long time ago for a while i'm like should i keep it clean for the children this for for a while much younger was watching and i was trying to behave and i was like you know what there's no need for that gotta be ourselves too old to do what other people like Touch that one, Lewis. There's enough clean channels out there, right? <clears throat> enough clean channels. Too much political correctness out there, am I right? One thing it's good to realize do the better that I'm gonna please everyone and that is okay and you know what since that is the truth then who do you think is better to please everyone or yourself an only child so I'm like ah, please myself please myself everybody else has got their own self please themselves right people have to be bold enough to say it's okay. Everybody's got their own power to please themselves. Shouldn't rely on other people to please us. I think. That's just what I think. <clears throat> Thank you, Clara. This shows how comfortable we have gotten with each other. Yeah! 
it's like a dysfunctional family. <laughs> you touch what you want, Jamie. You touch what you want. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I have tea. Not so much I'm thirsty. Now it's touching talk. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Still, my old dog, he's not very pleased that we got a puppy. Uh, and he's not the only one. Kind of depressed sometimes. But he also has a lot of fun, like his only fun with the new puppy is to prove his dominance death a lot. <laughs> the new puppy better take it because he's like the least dominant one. Besides, he keeps stealing his toys. But overall he's a good puppy. He's just here sleeping on my green screen. No, I have two dogs. <laughs> yeah, he is thinking he's too old for a puppy. He was so happy to be the only dog. But it's the funniest thing. I only have two dogs and I'm not really the pet kind of person at all. I have a daughter and she, you know, has got a iPad obsession. So basically we got the dog so she spends less time on her iPad and stuff. And also, she promised that she would take care of him. And, stuff. and, and now, when I, when I come inside, or uh, both of them come and greet me, and I feel like Ace Ventura <laughs> with only two dogs, I'm like, oh, look at all these guys, just so much love. I'm not saying I'm not liking it, I'm liking it. I just don't think that I would adopt the dog from myself. I'm pretty happy on my own. You'll make people around you happy. You please them, <laughs> but you choose the terms of the pleasing. <laughs> Did I come off annoyed yesterday in the beginning of the stream? I don't think I was there for the beginning of the stream. Me, me neither. Missed it. Oh, okay. Were you annoyed? But when Rose was there, right? And you talked to the guy. And then you were a little, I guess, uh, frustrated with your painting, but I don't know. I think he was too unusually um, annoyed. I've never had a dog before. <laughs> I had puppies when I was younger. I really liked having puppies when I was younger, so I can understand why she wanted a puppy. Somebody to love. And it's actually, I think it's good for a child to have a responsibility, especially, especially you know, like, we don't, she doesn't really have any extracurricular activities or anything, she does rather her not be idle and uh, just do meaningless things like scroll, scroll up and down all day long. It's a good thing.
You always come off as annoyed. <laughs> you are frustrated. Client put me in a mood. This painting needs to be done. Why worry about what you can't change? Ooh, going forward. Do do we? More specifically, your attitude. Ooh, drama. Are you willing to share what your client said that annoyed you? Have you tried meditating before you paint or deal with a customer? <laughs> Clara, you're hilarious. We wouldn't want it any other way. We want everybody, every group. So, Clara, never change. Never change, Clara. Just kidding. <clears throat> we all know that change is impermanent and it would it will Just don't worry too much about it. We're enjoying you anyway. happened upon the but not letting the if it face you and meditating and I'm over here being like give us details probably not wise you are human Lewis bad moods happen it's okay to feel emotions emotions are normal emotions are not only forgivable they're the very meaning of what pre silicon carbon based organisms can truly grasp Entire lighting situation in the painting because the, he would like the reflection from the cat crappy iPhone photo. Oh my god. How do you deal with that? Of the photo taken at hard angles that we literally debated for like 30 or 40 minutes. My god, Lewis. I mean, does this guy even know what you do? It's, it's brutal, man when you're see and I told you I mean I don't want to say I told you but if the client wants crappy painting do the damn crappy painting you spend so much time and doing everything super realistic and super clean and amazing and improving on that painting so much only for this guy to come and tell you no I want it to look like a cartoon Not to mention the amount of time that he wasted for you. Terrible. Yeah, how do you deal with that? And I sure hope that... Because dude, you've been used uh, you know, on this painting for so long. Too, too long. Healthy to let that much stress get you. Yeah. Very frank with him. I told him I'm not changing him. Good. Claire, the client is referring to his own reference. On poor quality reference has glare on. Need to get through this. It's not always like this, but Rose sees this and it puts her off. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Lewis, that's why, that's why I think for a big work like this, it's really important to give the client reference photos, because then the client can stop you before you go in. Even if you think it's micromanaging it, then he might be, but it's I think it's better than, than finishing it and then him saying change the whole damn thing. That's what I think. 
difficult. Then I had artistic license because I told him I won't copy it exactly. Did you make a contract, Lewis? Did you make a contract with this guy saying exactly those words? Like, because I think for such a big, uh, such a contract, but you might already do that. <laughs> Borrow. Has he been watching the whole? I think he, he watches it every now and then, but I don't know if he watched the whole thing. Anyway, Louis, don't worry about it too much. He'll... And, you know, I think every single difficult situation and difficult client like this teaches you a whole lot of what you need to do, you know, after this and protect your stresses like that. I've had my fair share of difficulty with people. <clears throat> oh, what did you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he watches the stream so he sees it, but there is a line to what he could tell me to change and when. Yeah. He reads and hears our conversations and he's doing <laughs> examples on it. Yeah. I don't mind saying I'm done and you can find another artist. Yeah, I mean damn right, you know, like... Exactly. But, yeah. That's made difficult with people. guys you can talk please do <laughs> He's a dentist. <laughs> you really charge ninety an hour? <clears throat> that's not that's really not ridiculous. Because 
for example, just saying uh, like pricing your art is really difficult. Like I find it really difficult because some people charge some, you know, ridiculous amount of monies and I admire them. <laughs> I admire those kind of people and I want to be one day one of those people, you know. And for example, uh, we had to have some trees cut down. Um, and so the guy came, he's actually a, a friend, kind of a friend. He uh, bought one of my... We chat, he's a really nice guy. So he came and I said, well, we need so many trees cut down. And I said, what's your rate? And he's like, well, I usually charge by the day. It's $500 a day. And $500 a day, you know? But then, maybe he's a really good arborist and he cuts a lot of trees down. And not to mention that it's like a risky job. He risks his job climbing out there. We would only call him for the trees that we can't cut down. Because a lot of them are really easy. We cut a lot of trees down. But some of them are hanging over the house or they're... So there's a lot of skill involved. And uh, so $500 a day and I was thinking, what the heck do I charge for my mural painting? I should be charging you $500 a day. And then I'm thinking and how many days it takes me to paint a mural. And generally I don't charge $500 a day, I charge a little less. But then, I've also had, I, I, want, I have this idea, we have this budget, and uh, paint this for me. So then I painted it, and at the end, I was making $500 a day. So, sustainable, because I can't do, you know, like I don't get me old jobs all the time like this. But every now and then, it's okay to charge a lot, especially for when you do something highly like people can do. So $500 a day, and even for my latest job, granted it was a little far away, and you know, like it was two hours away, I drove it for four hours. It was gas and everything, but... But it was $500? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So, you know, everybody, like, I take my dog to the vet and every time it's like $150. <laughs> Their life is expensive, okay? And even, especially if you spend six months doing a work, like, got a hundred thousand fucking dollars <laughs> that's my price <laughs> I know what I missed <laughs> Lucy from the Charlie Brown <sighs> micromanaged before but never like this my fault marketing and sales what's when you read her scenes are you like yep I can't see anything wrong Here they charge by the size of the tree. We have a couple, and I think one is two. Five. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Clara. It's ridiculous. It's like every single vaccine, every single thing. Like, why? Why did I say yes? Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> why do you? Why do I always say yes to life? <laughs> My next video will be a video um, <sighs> Take my dog to the doctor <laughs> I don't think the doctor will be very happy with that. In the painting, this area here is way, way darker in real life.
I can't see anything wrong with the uh, with the stream. I aim the aim the camera back a little bit. Definitely have to upgrade my my tech. <laughs> some reason. Problem is Clara because um, when we moved in there were so many ash trees like ash trees the tall tall trees and there was a bug called the ash borer it was a beetle it killed off all of the ash trees like there's no a living ash tree we have a few we have a few maples and a couple of um, uh, the other ones oaks oaks very few but they're mostly ash trees and they're all dead and they're all tall and impending the house like they're just hanging over the power lines they're uh hanging over the house and it's really scary we cut a, a whole bunch of them but we have 30 or 40 trees like in the woods and also we would really love to have some solar power you know we can't have any of that with with trees uh, shading our house so we would also like to get some some fruit trees because like what's the point of trees if they don't if they're not any good you know like they're so useless not useless but you know a tree should do more than just oxygen <laughs> shaming trees the tree cha shaming channel everyone <laughs> using a reference photo for this painting uh, the reference photo is in the is in the description I have it right here uh, on my phone right next to right next to my painting phone oh, I already said that but anyway, you can see it. I posted it on Patreon. I don't know why it's taking me so long and the weird ways I'm going about it today. All stream started in a weird way and... I'm a little scattered brained, I suppose. <sighs> Mind if I give you a color suggestion for this piece? If you're just looking to study and don't want feedback, go ahead. Go ahead, Clara. Give me a color suggestion. I'm open. Although, keep in mind that the on the uh, stream is really not. Let me, let me turn off another light. Maybe it'll be... Maybe it's better. Not sure. Sorry, Kale. We'll see in a sec. If this part here becomes a little less glary. I hope there's no light now. Let me see how oh, it's gone. I think it's a little better. No, it turns back to being washed out. Hmm. 
you know, I am in a garage, just so you guys know. In a garage and the lighting is really difficult to control. And my tech sucks. So... <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff in between that is not showing. picture though I can bring more warms in the in the background I kind of like the uh, the contrast between the the green and the orange I think that's pretty They're gonna have some highlights from the background. So I think that might uh, bring everything together in a way. But I do appreciate it. But I think if you made the background either warmer or the mushrooms cooler, that would work better. In the picture, the background looks warmer, does it? Um, yeah, I'm not... This is just the first pass. These paint th paints are very, very transparent and everything looks so blotchy. So I think everything is going to need another coat. So um, when I get all... It'll look much better. I still have to add the warm highlights in the background and the, the cool highlights on the mushrooms. And once the highlights are there, it's gonna, it's gonna all come together. Like the contrast. Yes. Mushrooms are not. Of course, I understand. green that's gonna warm it up a little I think I'm gonna have to start the adjusting the starter for the beginner painters to get better paints than beginner paints I'm getting very frustrated with the transparency of these. Ugh.
background. The acrylics, could you technically paint the whole background, covering the whole canvas, and then add mid-ground and foreground afterwards? Yeah. Yes. I guess I could have toned the canvas first, so that, that would have been easier. We can probably do that there. I... <laughs> I usually do. Sometimes I forget stuff. Sometimes I forget stuff. But I'm always doing techniques and trying to do things uh, that I think might save time. And sometimes those don't work, but but it's, you know, I still have to try. I know this rock is a little more to the, the right. Thanks. You're just being supportive. and inviting. <laughs> uh, very vulnerable. Oh my god, you have no idea. Very vulnerable. It's usually... Yeah. Definitely not as comfortable doing stuff online. I mean, live, than it is doing it by myself without no anybody watching. And every time I'm like, maybe I sh maybe I won't do it this time. <laughs> maybe I just won't go live this time. They'll understand. And then I think, nah. I'm enjoying it too, and you guys are expecting it. And I know how good I feel afterwards. <laughs> oh mentioned that my uh, my next video is gonna be with a very nihilistic approach so if you guys have a nihilistic and depressive tendencies don't miss it it's gonna be uh i hope it's gonna be fun i haven't started filming yet but i started writing the script which is the first step Good start to a conceptual painting. Oh no, not at all. Nobody makes my life harder than me. <laughs> I'm glad that I restarted the stream though, because I would to give up. If there's something that I really don't like is giving up or or feeling weak. I really don't like feeling weak. One thing that I really love is feeling strong and that I've overcome something. I think that is one of the best feelings in the world for me. Whether that's mostly a mental thing, rather. Like even calling people on the phone, I'm like, yes, I did that. I totally called them. <laughs> What? I find it hard talking to people on the phone, okay? I'm sure I'm not the only one in this. Not you, Clara. You probably have to talk to people all the time. But I don't like talking to people on the phone. I have trouble understanding them.
<laughs> really? You do? <laughs> a fun night listening video, of course. <laughs> Suck it up yours, Lois. <laughs> Who told you that I'm a woman? I'm not. I, I like to identify as non-binary, thank you very much. <laughs> oh my god. The funniest thing, you know, you better... This, you know, this generation of not only Gen Z, but even millennials are are embracing this. This. Be careful how you dress people, because in a in a snap they're gonna say, "Oh no, you misgendered me." Great shipment yesterday. I got transferred 10 times. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So let me tell you about this thing. Uh, uh, I'm part of this uh, Facebook group, the Supernatural, you know, the, the workout thing that I do. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's a really um, nice community. It's very, very. What do you call it? Like open and encouraging and nurturing. It's a very nice community. And people share their workouts there. And uh, so this what she had a you know like a woman's name and it looked like a woman and totally looked like a woman. So I really like I thought she she looked pretty strong don't comment often but I commented on her video I said yeah good great form you go girl and so she she replied she said thank you very much thank you for your compliment but I like to <laughs> like oh snap I'm non-binary okay 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 fair fair enough so then I went and I checked her profile out to see what kind of what her photos look like you know to, to really understand this kind of person because I do want to understand these kind of people but and that's gonna get criticized the fact that I said this kind of people <laughs> so her pictures were all like, very feminine very I mean not feminine maybe maybe neutral okay but they were all you know she wear makeup like looks like a woman Who am I to judge? I'm not judging anymore. <laughs> Eliza? I don't know Eliza. Browns up in here. Oh, you know what? I I watched something really funny yesterday. It was in an acrylic pouring group, and some some sort of art group. And somebody shared uh, Jazza doing a painting after just listening to Bob Ross's voice. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he showed what he did, and it's really funny because Bob Ross used to love saying. Or let's go down in here, down here, up here, and put something. And it was really funny because Jazza was completely confused. But and uh, thing. <laughs> but probably better than what I would have done with the just audio instructions of Bob Ross. Sorry about my head, but I have to see things here, up in here, up in here, up in here. Emperor has no clothes. <laughs> this kind of people, human media. Oh, Dara, we don't charge. <laughs> How dare you use reason, Laura? 
I saw that one, Jazza, right? It's funny. What's funny is that I don't particularly like Jazza very much. Vibe I don't I don't vibe with. I know he's funny and generally you'd say that I really embrace any kind of male that has a British accent. But just there's something about Jazza that uh, but I'm not gonna say anything bad about Jazza because I know he's got like way more subscribers than I do and fans. So I'm like a mouse compared to Jazza. But I still have Watch out, world. Maybe I'm just jealous. You know, every time I don't like like this. Uh, fam like, ugh. Look that famous person. I might be jealous, so don't take anything uh, seriously from me. I have a tendency for that. Just like Hale, just like my dog gets very jealous. I'm very much like a dog of a female persuasion. <laughs> uh, the drama jazz of video yet. Where... I think I saw the first one and then I kind of... I don't need to see that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think I have to take this. Hello? I'm good, how are you? Thank you, you too. Bye. <laughs> Yay, my dog has no parasite. They're the most judgmental people. It's... Don't like Jazza? I judge. Hang on. Um, not that one, no, but no. I want to judge the hell out of people and rightfully so. Don't like Jazza? <gasps> There's another uh, very, very popular artist I don't like. I, somebody who I know, one of my friends is like, oh, you don't like that person? Cause she was wearing his hoodie. I'm like, oh. You're wearing uh, that guy's hoodie, huh? He's like, yeah, I love him. I'm like, yeah. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> and then she's like, no, you don't like him? Like, I don't know. It might just be jealousy. I'm not a very nice person sometimes. I know that. And it's very important have that kind of tendencies, you know? Good to know where you stand. <laughs> They're the most judgmental people ever. Who's, who's the most judgmental people? Jazza and stuff. Morons, Jamie. No parasites! It's pe pawns. Peons? Pe peons? Pawns. On the solo you shoot. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, you know, I just. It's okay not to like things, you know? Of course, it's okay to have an opinion. But for me, for me, I would like to give less shit about people. Like, who cares? Let them be who they are. And I don't want to be, uh, you know, bothered. Like, I don't want to just don't want to be bothered. And I don't want to be annoyed by people. Because then they have the upper power, you know? Like, you think you can... I don't wanna care so much. That is my problem. Sometimes I care too much. And again. Yeah. 
that's not good for me. It's not about being nice, it's about him. <clears throat> Piss the day, Quelder, if you want the day, I'm going to end in liquor, calling it. <laughs> Poor Lewis. Play some League of Legends, that's the best way to tonight. Juicy tea bag action? Make you make sure you eat first. Don't eat first. <laughs> we all know how to, you like to serve yourself. You don't want to drink on an eaten stomach. You all you should always eat drink on an empty stomach. Cause then you have less stuff to throw out. <laughs> I never like to eat. I never like to eat on a on uh, to drink on a full stomach. I think it's awful. Besides, it takes longer to get drunk. Kids, don't listen to me. But seriously, tonight I will drink. Tonight I have my art pour with my friends because I uh, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day art pour. You know, for for people who love each other to come and do art. Up. So then last night, I, I'm like, I called my peeps, I'm like, hey, <laughs> we're free tomorrow night, do you wanna come? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we're, we're secretly hoping nobody's gonna sign up. I'm like, you, you selfish jerks, you jinxed me. <laughs> they know. Sorry guys, I'm letting a little more of myself out today, I don't know why. See, you guys are making me uh, feel too, too comfortable. And that's not always a good thing. Because they're my... And they're like, oh, now we're scared to come to class. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, what is the most drink? Uh, suika. Suika. It's suika. It's a kind of, um, it's a plum brandy. And you can actually get like a water. It's called the uh, Schlievovitz. Schlievovitz. Uh, Lewis. Pick up a bottle of sleeve of it. It's got this pungent smell. Uh, I can't drink it anymore. I did it in college, and uh, like I over, over, drank uh, tuika, and uh, it was one of those that was like ninety degrees, nine, not ninety proof. It's of alcohol. It was almost uh, pure spirit. And if I had a lighter, it would have probably combusted just from... I drank a, a couple of cups of that. I didn't bother with like little tiny, uh, you know, shot glasses. I had like a mug, a couple of mugs, and that really put me... I can barely even smell it now. Not that I can't actually smell it, I can smell it, I just can't smell it for a long time without feeling sick. So I've never drank anything 
hard since then. The only things I would touch is wine and beer and cocktails and, you know, girly things like that, but not very often. I like my wine. <laughs> But that's uh, if I was closer I would feed you <laughs> yeah right you need a lot less alcohol <laughs> usually drunk after only a glass of wine oh <laughs> Wonder if soon I could Rakia. Rakia, I don't know. Spell it. Yes, I'll write it in the chat. Moonshine. But exactly. Clara got it before me. How'd you get that T underneath? <laughs> yeah, but you gotta smell it in order to uh to really know it. You can't know it by the well. Which is very pungent, but the one the the one that you can find in America is something like that. Labeled it. My Google foo is strong. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. you guys can't see me anymore uh how can you be a better man <laughs> going to look for this at the international grocery store uh i'm glad you finally asked i just look in the mirror fool <laughs> let me pull this so you can see me i'm gonna step back a little bit because otherwise i can't see can't see where I'm going with this. I'll take a more relaxed stance. <laughs> Mr. T. seriously guys uh, I think I'm gonna until I figure out this this uh, video situation because the picture is horrible until I figure out the, the video situation I think I'm gonna take a break from live streaming the fact that you can't see uh, the picture that I'm doing very very well And it's still nice to hang out. I want you guys to get the most out of this. Going 
really nice to have you here. Hang on. Gotta go back. Uh, it's because I'm black. Ah. I have to go, but thank you for the stream. Thank you, Clara. I when I appear again, I will have a new set of hair. You're in black, but your mood is today. Go easy on the Tsuika. <laughs> Kids? <laughs> Louis, do some push ups. <laughs> you have a curse, uh, your painting curse. Thanks for the tip on the, uh, the picture, Clara. Feel better, uh huh. Such a child. <laughs> Your face is a child. I have to simplify this a lot for the big why do I always pick up pick such difficult you know paintings I think they're all easy and then when I go to paint them they're so difficult Almost over. It's almost over, Lewis. Ever paint over old paintings? I pour pour paint over old paintings, but not really paint over old paintings. No, uh, I. No, not really. I could. I. Uh, in the beginning, I painted over one of Sam's old paintings, but then, you know, I kind of do the paint. So then I don't have to, I don't have such a lot of paintings that I don't like, so just leave them. And besides, canvases aren't that expensive, you know. New canvas.
probably should. Because they would... If I'm not happy with something, I should just paint over it, but... some browns here and there warm this up a little bit I don't know if they're gonna show but uh, you know what I'm doing here brown Jamie. I sigh. Did I miss something? Make it a really nice light. Oh, the fact that I'm putting the paintbrush on the on the canvas and you guys can't see anything. But it's funny in a sense. It will be painful and a satisfying release at the same time. Painting over an old painting. Uh, I guess if you don't like the painting, you can paint over it, you know, to not waste the canvas. Just remember, you put six months in before you do something that reckless. <laughs> oh, I think Quadra was suggest to Lewis that he paints over over that painting. That would be uh, very painful.
There's only one painting I wish to paint over. Which one is that, Louis? I was just thinking if I'm practicing, my paintings will look like garbage anyway, so I might as well reuse the board. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, the reason why I wouldn't try to do something good on an old painting is if if I left a lot of texture on the on the canvas, then it's gonna pick up on the next one. So, and uh, a while ago, I really really liked that painting, but the painting underneath had so much texture, and now it picked up the old texture, and I I can't tell like because it's so heavy in the it becomes really heavy, and I I don't like that, you know very very heavy feeling of a canvas if it's not too heavy then I guess it's fine but but I'm always wary of the weight of the canvas in the end Ah, oh, send it down first if you're going to do it. Yeah. Sure says the worst painting I've ever done for the public. See, but but you have to why? Why would you paint over it? You know, like it's it's uh, it shows where you started, you know. Not horrible. And canvases aren't that expensive, just paint another one. But if you're just practicing, like you know that a piece is a practice, then I guess you can keep reusing the same something professional and nice. I would start with a new canvas altogether to just start fresh. That's me. But yeah, you can definitely send it down. I have some nice pores that I've poured over something and I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd used a, a new canvas. But it's still okay. My god, this uh, painting is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it would. Why is it so complicated? Definitely not a two hour painting because I want to put all the details in there. so many paintings just a waste of space yeah um <laughs> i don't want people to see it is why was it shown yesterday and i missed it it's because of distance i'll back burn it for back to time <laughs> yeah you know everybody can do their own thing burn it from time to time i like that You know, just to keep it fresh, nothing major. No biggie. have the feeling like this is going to be very uh Louis how would you simplify <laughs> Jamie um exactly Jamie can I take I can take a picture and achieve the same result burning is a healing experience yes it is
This is definitely not going to be a tutorial that I share with my people because they can't teach me. How would you simplify this so that it can be done in an a la prima method? <laughs> like in two hours? No, I don't think there is a way to... I can send you the picture and tell me if it's possible, but I don't know. No, I have not seen the movie Office Space. I have to. Or I fell asleep. One of the two. I have heard that it's very funny, though. gonna put some highlights on these mushrooms and call it a day because this is ridiculous I thought this was a good considering okay using some red and some white I know how, I want me to hop in this really fast, if not, no worries, you know, <laughs> I'm not in Discord, I'm not in Discord and uh, last time we had trouble with, with sound, but let's try it, if it doesn't work the first time, I'm not trying again. I'm in Discord. Uh, Qualdra, that's a good idea. I could work smaller. I might just... I'd have to figure it out how to simplify. That is a good idea. I might just do that. a little bit of the blue the red making a little lavender color here I'm mixing it with white trying to get this uh, highlight I think it'll bring
Laura, can you hear me? I can. And you? Oh, excellent. Yes. Good. So, um, I think it looks really good. I really think, like, the part I like the most, actually, is the, all the greenery behind the mushrooms. And, um, but honestly, like, so if you want to get it done quicker, um, and, you know, it's simply about organization of values and application. Yeah. But I would first off work with a larger brush, number one, and right. really think of the texture you want. That's, that's the first thing. But if you're, if you're doing it, start with kind of your, you know, start in the background, work your way to the foreground mm -hmm. and do the, uh, like just separate it into three values, three light, like say greens, right? Uh -huh. And say your dark, darker green, and it still has color. It's not black. It'll kill it. But like your darker green, the midtone green, and then a lighter green, and then simply start with the darker green, put it down, you know, with the big brush, all where it needs to go. Then go through with the midtones and just focus on transitions, and just getting the impression swinging down, and then just go over with. The light area which should be the easier part you just pluck the lights out and work broadly and then paint the mushrooms over it instead of oh. having to paint the background around the mushrooms that's how i would work it if you're if you're going to do it like fast and okay. this is acrylic right yeah yes i think this is acrylic can you still hear me oh god <laughs> This gorgeous crap out um, on me. Okay. Because if uh, I, I can't hear you, but that's okay. If you can hear me, um, the only thing I would do to improve this is just to work on the the drawing and the, the shape of the mushrooms. Maybe enlarge the stems, but you're you're doing that right now in the stream. That's literally the only thing to me that was holding it back was the mushrooms, the drawing of the mushrooms. That's it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me, but yeah, anyway, I can. Uh, don't worry about it. And that's that's basically all all i have to say but it looks I, I really like it it looks really good cool thank you lewis thank you very much you guys hear me it's okay, it's okay. First, Lewis was hearing me, and then Discord just refused. I don't know what happened. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Lewis. I appreciate it. Very helpful. Generally, I do the background first, and I don't know why I did this the way I did today. Um, yeah. Because used to the mural process where sometimes I leave the object, the foreground, so I don't know, it's uh, easier to keep my place to where to put the objects, but this is definitely easier if I paint the mushrooms over afterwards. everywhere but I did that yeah I don't know what's happening with discord with me I want to use a big old brush. Do you have a big old brush, Wilder? Yeah, 
this to be even lighter. Really, what? Hang on. Maybe that's the problem. Light 20. Oh, let me turn the HD on. Maybe that was the problem. Oh, it's still crappy. <laughs> my kids are home. I need to feed them and take my son for a hair. Okay, Jamie, thank you so much for coming. Have a good weekend. And uh, take your son to the groomers. Like sheep to now do we? <laughs> Jamie is such a motherly figure, isn't she?
Thank you.